Hi, welcome to another episode of Talking Time Pieces, where we talk about watch collecting and horology. Today, I wanted to explore Horage's uh, latest technology, their uh, Revolution 3 Micro Rev um, movement, escapement. It's actually quite revolutionary in the industry because it allows you to regulate your watch without having to open it. Now, uh, before I go into the details, I will point out that Urvec did uh, something similar. The Urvec uh, version of it, the EMC, the Urvec EMC is uh, very similar to the Horage in that it electronically, uh, you can track, well, in the case of the Horage, it's also the mechanism to adjust the balance is electronic. There's a micro uh, motor inside of the movement attached to the balance. In the case of the Horage, it's an electronic uh, mechanism to determine the beat rate within. So like you have a time grapher inside of the watch and it had an external adjustment screw that you could then regulate your watch uh, without opening the case. So the Uvec uh, EMC actually was the first to have self-regulation without having to open the case. But the Horage has done it in a way that is much more accessible and um, well, more uh, easy to integrate and adopt into a movement. The Horage took one of their off-the-shelf movements and modified the balance for this. Whereas, as we know, Urvec goes out of their way to make extremely uh, complex mechanisms, which nothing's wrong with that. It's just that Horage's version is more likely to show up in a lot of other pieces. I could easily see the uh, Horage technology um, eventually being licensed to other watchmakers because essentially what it is is you've got this uh, micromotor attached to the regulatory arm you know, that, would norm that you would normally move with a toothpick or a tool to regulate the mechanism, they put a micro motor on that spot and a small uh, screw driven um, servo, the, that little micro motor pushes the uh, regulatory pin backwards and forwards. And with the external controller, you can do it in 10th of a second uh, increments. So theoretically, you could, if you regulated it every day, I mean, there's nothing that, well, it, probably has a very long, I mean, when, we, when you start talking about things like micromotors and such, um, if they're properly designed, they have a tremendously long uh, operating lifetime uh, because there's not, there's not that much friction going on and the forces are very low. You know, there's not a lot of torque on that motor that would cause problems that you would get with higher torque, higher power motors. So small micromotors, um, and, then, and in the case of MEMS micro machines, they're essentially non-moving from our point of view. But in the case of this Horage micromotor, it um, is a very, very novel, very elegant way, I guess you could say. Um, I mean, more elegant would be a smaller motor assembly, but we're already talking about a motor inside the case attached to the balance. We're, we're pretty small here. And um, the fact that you can regulate it externally with, an, with a tool that's very obviously marked, you know, very obviously marked for up and down. And um, there's no big, ugly interface. You know, you don't have to stick anything into a socket or uh, have weird clips, you know, sticking out on the side, you know, big electrodes or something like that. It uh, is a sleek presentation. You just clip it into the uh, adjustment tool and you're off and running. So you could theoretically uh, have it within a second a day, every day, you know, regulate it once a week. Um, obviously, when you first get it, you're probably going to spend some time in the first couple of days, make, you know, uh, getting it broken in and getting it dialed in. But there's no reason you couldn't use the technology to adjust the uh, regulation throughout the entire lifetime of the watch as often as you like. So I just wanted to point out that this is actually quite horologically significant. I think it may uh, migrate to other um, watch companies, uh, if only other micro brands, because it is an interesting um, complication to be able to self-regulate the watch, you know, and, and to self-regulate without opening the case. Because I've 
done it with you know toothpick and a Vostok, but I wouldn't do it with you know anything that costs more than a hundred bucks. And uh, this technology can be used on any movement because they well, I shouldn't say any, but any ro- you know rotating wheel balance movement because um, Horaj just simply modified one of their off the shelf movements as I pointed out to make this one. So it's easily modifiable into other watch uh, makers movement designs um so that's all i wanted to say is point out this and why it's significant and encourage you to check the company out and uh horage made a name for itself initially by having the uh one of the if not the cheapest tourbillons actually yeah the cheapest tourbillons around eight and change when it first came out and at the time the tag Heuer was 10 and change uh, they probably have both migrated in the intervening years, but not by too much. Uh, but it shows you that Horage is a Swiss maker, uh, watchmaker. They make some very interesting designs. They're not copying anybody else's stuff. And now this new um, watch is uh, making waves. And they're really highlighting it by having the face uh, highlight the movement. You know, instead of your normal uh, layout, wristwatch check wearing my um, El Primero Chronomaster open heart, um, you know. So like, you have the a, a lot of high end watches have a display back. The Horage has a display front, and it displays the time in a little tiny window in the uh, bottom of the uh, face. And if you wanted to see hands, you actually have to take the watch off your wrist and flip it over and uh, look at the back because through the back instead of a movement is a second watch face displaying traditional time. Um, I'm curious if someone's going to put it on a NATO and then that way they can flip it around and wear it with the backside out so they have the regular watch presentation. I, 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 uh, if anybody does something like that, let me know. Send me a picture. I'll share it. So that's all. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch. I hope you all have a fantastic day. And uh, please subscribe, like the video, and uh, tell your friends. Thanks. Thank you.